Wow. I'm Mitchell from Australia, and this is the Australian Black Swan. This footage was filmed from an observer height of 5.5 feet with a Nikon P900. This is point perpendicular. You can see the lighthouse. And these rocks are just demarcation rocks. This is not the argument. My observer location is here on Collingwood Beach in Jervis Bay on the New South Wales south coast. I was viewing these rocks here near point perpendicular. The distance is 7.8 miles. Now that's not the distance to the horizon. That's just the distance to the bottom of their rocks. And I'm just using the elevation tool here to show that the highest elevation possible is about 5.7 meters above sea level. Enhancing this image, we can see that there is a mirroring layer below this boat. That's not refraction or a mirage, simply just mirroring. And we can see the bottom of those rocks where it touches the water 7.8 miles away. This is just a demarcation point. Here is the horizon far beyond 7.8 miles. And to put it beyond all doubt that the horizon is far in the distance past those rocks, we're about to see a boat appear from behind those rocks and the horizon still in the distance beyond that boat. The horizon is definitely beyond 7.8 miles from my observer point. So let's put this observation through modus tollens. If P, then Q. Not Q, therefore not P. If P, the Earth, is a sphere with radius 3959 miles, then Q, every distance to horizon, must be no more than 1.22 times the square root of the observer's height in feet. Enter the Australian black swan. From an observer height of 5.5 feet, Distance to the horizon can be no more than 1.22 times the square root of 5.5 feet, which equals 2.35 miles. That is where the horizon, the physical Earth curvature, must be on a sphere of a radius 3959 miles from a 5.5 foot observer height. And we can clearly see the horizon is far beyond 7.8 miles. So to complete the modus tollens. Not Q, the horizon is beyond 7.8 miles from a 5.5 foot observer height. Therefore, not P, the Earth is not a sphere with a radius 3959 miles. But if you still believe you're on a globe, maybe it's just a bigger radius, which would be in excess of 29,200 miles. The Australian black swan has absolutely destroyed the globe.